Arisen, 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 Arisen. Him number eight nine seven. Mary was among believers, trusting in the angels' word. You consented and conceiving, brought to her the Son of God. Mother, sisters. We all want to go to heaven. I don't know if some of you would not like to go to heaven. How we wish to that there is a stairway or there is an airplane to go or can fly all the way up there. But there is none. There's only one way to heaven. Jesus. And this Sunday, he gives us the formula to go to heaven. He said, remain in me as I remain in you. And so he gave this metaphor, I am the true vine and you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit because without me, you can do nothing. We should be forever grateful to God, my dear brothers and sisters, for through the sacrament of baptism, we were incorporated into the body of Christ, the church. That is the easy part. But the tough part is to remain with Jesus so that we continue enjoying the fullness of life that he has come to give us. That, in fact, is the only way to be true Christian like Christ, being united with him like a branch to a vine. How do we do this? First, why we obey all the commandments of God. And the greatest commandment of all is love. By this, Jesus said, All men shall know that you are my disciples, your love for one another. And the second, we follow the will of God in our lives. We should never insist our own will. Like Mary, we must always respond to God, be it done to me according to your word. And the third is we receive the sacraments or we should receive the sacrament regularly, especially the Eucharist and penance. According to Pope Benedict XVI, receiving the Eucharist means adoring the one whom we receive. Precisely this is the way and only way and only in this way do we become one with him. So, my dear brothers and sisters, doing these three steps will give us the sanctifying grace, the grace whereby we share in every, in the very life of God. We are more and more conformed to the image of God. That is what true holiness is all about. And Jesus promised, if you remain in me, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. But you know, my dear brothers and sisters, this sanctifying grace, our sharing in the divine life, is lost the moment we fall into grave sin. And although we may not be always aware of it, this happens so many times in our life. We lose our connection with God. We are like branches cut off from the vine, dead and dry branches ready to be thrown into the fire and burned. This is the first point that we must consider today. We are fortunate to be incorporated into Christ through baptism, but because of our sins, especially pride and selfishness, 
we often are cut off from Him. There is a need for us to go to the sacrament of penance in order to be reconciled to God and regain the sanctifying grace. But Jesus does not only talk about remaining in Him. He also talks about bearing much fruit. A branch cannot continue sustenance or getting sustenance from the vine without bearing fruits. Jesus said, My Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. But again, Jesus is talking not only of bearing fruits, but bearing more fruits. This can be achieved by pruning. My Father is the vine grower, as we have here in the Gospel. Every branch in me that bears fruit, he prunes so that it bears, it bears more fruit. The unnecessary twigs and leaves have to be cut off from the branch so that the nutrients do not go to waste but can be channeled directly to the fruit-bearing parts. This is a painful but necessary process. This involves a lot of self-denial, detachment, and sacrifices on our part. So have we ever thought, my dear brothers and sisters, why there are trials, crises, and problems in our lives? Well, perhaps God allows them to happen so that we learn to prune all these unnecessary twigs and leaves and be able to distinguish the superfluous from the basic essentials in our life. We are now on the month of May, and the month of May is actually considered the month of the Blessed Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. In my hometown in the Philippines, we honor her by offering fragrant flowers and our, uh, every day and pray the rosary. So we may look at Mary as the perfect example of a healthy and fruitful branch of the true vine, Jesus, her son. She remained with Jesus all her life by her total obedience to the will of God. Her life as a simple woman of Nazareth should inspire us to live that is free from superficial and ephemeral, but rooted in the one and only essential and eternal reality, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us all stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of might, maker of heaven. Light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Was so Carissimi e carissime, siete sempre in sintonia con la televisione cattolica italiana d'America, Telemater.